of Got Talent. Tomorrow night, one act is going to win $1 million in a headline show in Las Vegas. Now close your eyes and imagine yourself standing on that AGT stage and hearing me say, the winner is you. It could happen, but only if you come and audition first. We're heading all over the country, getting on the road very soon, and you can check out which cities we're coming to at agtauditions.com. Or you can upload a video of your million-dollar act. But however you do it, take that first step. It could be the moment that changed your life. Back to the search for this year's winner. Here's a guy who always takes it to the next level, on stage and on the football field. But can he go all the way and win this thing? We're about to find out from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here's John Dorenbaugh. There's nothing like that way. Mentally preparing for a game is key. Every snap I see it, right where I want the ball to go. I see the block I have. I see me running out and making a tackle. And on America's Got Talent, I'm doing the same thing. But instead, I'm going over my own routine. I see how I want it to play out. I picture the reactions of the judges, and I picture all these different scenarios, and every time I do it in my head, it's perfect. I've been through a lot in my life, and it motivated me to want to perform even better. I've been able to play in a lot of big games in my career, and being in the finals of America's Got Talent, this is the Super Bowl. Why well, have to treat this like this is the biggest game of my career. I have to bring my A game every single performance. The reality is the game's going to be done with me before I want to be done with the game. So to be on America's Got Talent and to see that there is life after football, this is the greatest opportunity I could possibly ask for. One thing that I'm really thankful that football's taught me is don't celebrate before the game's over. Respect your opponent and put yourself in a position to be successful. So when I hit the stage and I hit the football field, every play and every performance, I'm going to do it like it's my last one. Better yet, I'm going to do it like it's my first and my only. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here's what I wanted to do. We're going to do a trick with the twos, because I love them. You have a Sharpie in front of you. I want you each to sign the twos. Go ahead and write your name on there, and it's a great way to get an autograph. Ha. Uh, Simon, if you do me a favor, I want you to write the name of somebody that meant a lot to you in your life. It could be a nickname. It could be a person. It doesn't matter. But somebody that was okay. important to you. Yeah, yeah, on that card. Okay. Yep. All right. Howie, we got your two. Yep. Mel B, we got yours. Heidi, we got yours. And Simon, we can all see it. Yeah, it's okay. I, I've seen this trick. <laughs> you wrote the name Eric. Who is Eric? My son. I love this. Remember that, okay? Uh, today, today I wanted to take an opportunity to tell America what magic has meant to me. Magic saved my life. And uh, there have been plenty of times where I was lost, and I didn't have the answers. And I didn't know where to go. So what I did is I turned to magic. And it helped me find myself. It simply taught me, don't hate, don't blame, and forgive. And with that, I think we can all find ourselves. Don't hate. Imagine if we take all the hate out of our lives. Howie, I believe we will find ourselves. Wow. Mel B, may we all take the blame out and fill our hearts with love. And I believe we will find ourselves. Heidi, I've had a lot of things happen in my life, and forgiveness has given me the most beautiful thing in the world, and that's happiness. May we all forgive a little more, and we will find ourselves. Wow. Simon, we're going to shuffle these cards face up and face down. And if you think about it, this right here, this is life. When everything is going so perfect, and yet tragedy and chaos, they strike us when we least expect it. And it's what we all have in common. We all face this. But I think the difference is do we decide and do we choose to live in vision or do we live in circumstance? And I don't know about you guys, but I wake up every single morning and I choose to live in vision to find happiness, knowing that life will work its way out and we will find ourselves. Thank you. I tell you what, every one of us can relate to this. When life just kicks us when we're down, in those moments that life just decides to bury us. But if we stick together, 
and we believe in one another, we will rise to the top. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how we will never lose ourselves. A minute ago, a minute ago, I told you guys that magic saved my life. The magic's not in these hands, it's not in these cards. It's in every one of us. It's in our breath, it's in our touch, it's in our words. It's what we think about this world and what we think about each other. And Simon, I had you write the name Eric, and I thought I'd make a little to-do list for you. Every night, may the magic forever live in your home. Grab your son and tell Eric you love him and cross that off your list every single night. And ladies and gentlemen, may this world be magic. I love you. This has been one of the greatest opportunities of my life. I am John Gornbos. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. John Gornbos. We don't know how he does it. That was like a hundred magic tricks in 90 seconds. Howie. Well, it was more than magic. It was inspirational. You made names appear, you made cards appear, you made tears appear. And knowing your story, you really do have a message, and you really are on a mission, and you really are a star. And thank you for that moment. Thank you for that inspiration. And not only, I want people at home not only to vote, but I want, you, I want them to remember your words and live by your message that you just you. gave out. Mel B. Well, I thought I was being a bit crazy at first because I didn't quite understand what was going on. And then I think as I was so taken aback with your speech and inspired that I forgot to look at what you was actually doing. And then when I focused, I was like, oh my God, he's making things like just appear out of like nowhere. We've written it here and then it's there and then it's gone and then it appears. And I think you're brilliant at what you do and the way you present it is just spot on. So I've managed to figure it out now. You're just magic. <laughs> That's it. Hi. <laughs> All right. Let's just forget about you being a famous football player. Go Birds. Let's also forget about you being really, really good at magic. What you just did was so inspirational and so positive. You really are a class act. Thank you. I wish for you to win this too. Sam. John, you know, I, I've only got a few seconds. I'm just going to say this. You talk the talk, you walk the walk, but you're more than just a great performer. You're someone who I think we'd all be very proud to say the winner of this show wow. is John Dorenbos. This would be in the world, and let me tell you, when you're down, don't listen to yourself, talk to yourself. And I've been telling myself since day one, I want to win this, I want to share the magic with the world, I want to show, and I want to connect with you guys every single day of my life. Thank you very much. Good luck, my man Dorenbos. People, y'all need your vote. Get online, use the app, or grab the phone after the break. It's the last act of the night. She's a young girl who sings, writes songs, and plays the ukulele. It's Grace Vanderwall's chance at a million dollars when we come back. <laughs> 